Hey everybody, in this video we're going to cover building lead lists and doing prospecting in the Apollo database of over 260 million people. Let's dive right in. Okay, so now I'm in the Apollo platform and I'm gonna build my first lead list. Uh, what I've done is I've gone along the top here and clicked on the search tab, which is where I can query Apollo's database of over 260 million people to build a lead list for myself. Uh, with that being said, on the left-hand side, you'll notice that there are a bunch of filters that you can choose from. If you scroll to the very bottom, you can click more filters and that will pull up all the filters in this uh, view that I find a little easier to use. Now, there are a ton of different filters in Apollo, over 65. Uh, for now, I'm going to focus on building a persona because that's going to save me a bunch of time. And in that process, we'll use some of these filters. So uh, to build a persona, I'm going to click on this personas tab and I can uh, scroll to the very bottom of this list and I can create a new persona. So I'm going to hit new persona. And what a persona is, is basically it's a collection of filters that I've already applied and saved. So when I come back into Apollo later, uh, I can save a bunch of time and not have to click, 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 and reapply all the filters for the people that I want to reach out to. So in this example, I'm going to pretend that I'm selling SEO services to marketing agencies. So I'm going to build a persona called marketing agency owners, and now I can apply my filters. So I'm going to choose a job title as a filter, and I will say owner is a, is a title I'm looking for. And I'll say CEO is a title I'm looking for, and maybe a co-founder is a title that I'd be looking for as well. And let's just add founder uh, for fun as, as well. Now you'll notice in the titles section, I can apply, I can get really fancy with this. I can do Boolean search. I can do uh, whether they know, we know the title or we don't know the title and I can apply management level and the department that they use or that they're part of. Uh, but for our purposes, I'm just gonna keep this really simple. Now I'm gonna go down to industry and keywords. Uh, and you'll notice there are some advanced settings that I could apply here. Um, like I could say it's a CEO, not from a particular industry or just, we know the industry, but because our example is pretty straightforward, I'm going to scroll all the way down. You'll notice this is in alphabetical order and I'm going to choose marketing and advertising. So again, I'm trying to sell to marketing agencies and I'm looking for the owner of various marketing companies. Um, now I am going to apply actually an advanced setting is not any of, and I'll apply software. Uh, so I want marketing agencies. I don't want companies that sell uh, marketing software. Uh, okay, now location. I am in California, so I'm going to focus on California companies. And you'll notice I have cut down my list already substantially uh, from the hundreds of thousands to the tens of thousands, which is good. Uh, when it comes to building lists, we want to be as targeted as possible this idea of spray and pray, where we email as many people as we can, as fast as we can, that's never gonna work out for us in the medium or long term. Uh, so we're gonna keep these lists super targeted. Now I'm gonna click on employees and I'm going to choose the size of company I want to apply to this persona. For my example, I'll say it's between 20 and 100. It's big enough to be a real company, but small enough that it's not gonna take months and months and months to potentially bring a deal in the door. So now you'll notice I can start prospecting with my new persona. So I'll hit done. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose some of these people to add to a list and from there to add to a sequence. Um, but there are a couple other things I might want to do. I'm going to hit that more filters button and I'm going to scroll down, uh, to miscellaneous. There's a couple important filters that I recommend you guys take a look at. The first one is email status. Um, I only want to email people who have a verified email in Apollo, meaning Apollo is very confident that their email is real and that my email will land in that person's inbox, uh, assuming that I have good deliverability from my, my domain. The next thing is this filter date refreshed in Apollo. Um, I'm going to, I want to perpetually be reaching out to people who have up to date contact information. So I'm going to say that I only want to reach out to people who's information was refreshed in the last 90 days. And you'll notice that this has cut my, my uh, filters down quite a bit to 92 records. So if I want to email more people than that, I can be a little bit more generous with this. And I can say, you know, within 120 days, uh, it'll be a little bit more, but for my purposes, I really only want to work about a hundred leads today. So, uh, that's fine. And I'm going to hit apply filters. So 
now I have this list. It's all the persona that I, all the people in this list meet the persona that I set up. And now I want to get these people's information and, and add them to a sequence eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all 110 people. Now, if you're on a basic or a free plan, there is a limit to how many people you can select. It's 25. In this example, I'm using a custom plan, so I can select as many people as I want, I think up to 10,000. So I'll select all 110 of these people, and I'm going to hit save. I'm gonna walk you through a couple options we have in the save list. The first is I could just add them to a sequence right away. We're gonna talk about that in another video, so I'm gonna skip it for now. I could add them to a Salesforce campaign if I had uh, set up an integration with my Salesforce account. I can assign an owner, so if I wanna assign them to somebody else, uh, like I'm a sales manager and I wanna prospect on behalf of a teammate of mine or I'm an AE and I wanna do this on behalf of my SDR, I can do that. But what I wanna focus on is this mobile numbers button. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the box that says, try to find mobile numbers for newly prospected people. So this is where Apollo will do its best to get a phone number for all the people that we're going to save. And this will make it easy for us to uh, make calls to them, which I think is a very effective way to do outbound sales. Now, lastly, I'll go back to the top where it says add to lists. I'm gonna go ahead and create a list called marketing agency owners. This is just where all of the people I've prospected from that persona will live. So uh, it makes it again easy, saves me a few clicks if I want to uh, add that list to a new sequence or exclude that list from a sequence or something like that later. I'll go ahead and hit confirm and now Apollo is gonna get to work. And you'll notice in the top right hand corner, Apollo is adding these prospects uh, to my saved list. So I can go ahead and hit refresh and, okay, so that took a minute, but I was able to save all of my people into this, uh, in, into that list. And you'll notice that if I click now on the saved tab here, it shows me all the people that I have saved. These are people I've spent a credit to find or I've brought from my CRM. They're not net new to me, meaning they're, they're people that I haven't saved before and I, I don't have their contact information. So I've saved all of these people and I've added them to a list. Um, which makes it now I, it makes it easy for me if I come to my lists and I can choose marketing agency owners, all of those people are, are on that list, right? So what I wanna do with this list though, is I want to uh, come back to my filters and I want to separate the people who have a phone number from the people who don't. So you'll notice uh, when I go to filters, I scroll down to miscellaneous and went to phone status and confidence. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. It says this filter will not return results when filtering net new people. This means that to apply this filter, we first have to save the contacts that we're looking for to, uh, to our Apollo instance. And now we can apply this filter. So I wanna say they do have a mobile number and I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Okay, these people I'm going to add to a sequence that has phone calls associated with it. And everybody who's not on this list, uh, who, who we saved, but whose information isn't here, I'm going to add to a sequence that doesn't have phone calls in it. All right, so we just talked about building lead lists and doing your prospecting in the Apollo database, finding emails and phone numbers for people in your target audience. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next video.